In a previous video, we looked at how to edit sequences into other sequences here in Avid Media Composer. In this video, we're going to go over just something I didn't cover in that video, a really cool thing that you can do. I mean, I kind of covered it, but I didn't exactly show it. So in this video, we're going to show how to edit just certain parts of a sequence into another sequence here. So again, we're working on the uh, Piano Wars here. Okay, and this is a sequence that clearly I already already have done here. And I've already created a new sequence right here. This is gonna be the grandeur versus uh, mini grand. You can see it's currently empty. Okay, now right here, I have the grandeur versus the uh, contact concert grand. And then right here, I have the uh, sample tank three grand piano one versus mini grand. So I have these set up uh, the correct way I want them. I want the grandeur to be the first piano that we see. I'll just load up a sequence. I want the grandeur to be the first piano that we see, and then the mini grand to be the second piano that we see. And I have all of these structured out exactly the same. Okay, you know, for comparison's sake. If it's not exactly the same, then it's not really much of a comparison. Uh, now is it? So what we can do, let's go in here, since we're gonna be doing the grandeur, this is our sequence, so make sure, you know, we load that up. Then what we'll do is I want the grandeur, so I'll grab this one here, and again, I'll just throw my sequence. This is my sequence. You can tell it's a sequence by the icon there. If I go over to the master bin, here's a, here's a, just a clip, just a standard video clip there. Okay, you can see the icons, and of course, icons for different uh, things there, effects and whatnot. So again, our sequence is loaded up here. Now I want my grandeur. I'm gonna throw that up here. And again, we can choose which tracks we want. Now in this case, I'll go ahead and just cut everything in, make sure I got it from the very beginning, which I did. All right, so this is the grandeur versus this contact orchestral concert grand, but we want mini grand for this second piano there. Now, of course, I could head into my videos here, my piano videos. I have all the videos here. But again, like I mentioned in the last video, if you already have a bunch of work done, why not, uh, why not just use that work again? You know, I could just come in here, lock to my clip, me untick all of those, and I would need two and three and four, and then I could just cut that in, and then go in there, and I already have everything structured out, right? So I could just go in there and start cutting again, and cut all of the uh, pieces out that I don't need. But again, why do that when I already have this structured out exactly how I need it? So again, back to our, let me get that bin out of the way, back to our sequences. So in this video here, let's open it up. We have mini grand as the second piano, and we already have effects applied and whatnot. So what do you say we just use the mini grand here and just cut that in from this sequence into this sequence, which we can of course do. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we want to make sure we're at the right area, which is right here. We just expand out, make sure I'm locked to the right part, which is right there. Very good. Now I will go to this sequence and throw my sequence up here. Now I know Mini Grand is on track. Let me open this up just so we can see it. So now we have this sequence loaded, the uh, GP1 versus uh, Mini Grand there. So I know Mini Grand here is on video track two and audio tracks three and four. So that's the only tracks that I need, okay? Let's go back to our sequence that we're, we are working on here. Again, lock to that frame there and only select these tracks here. But again, let me go ahead and load that sequence up, make sure it's in there, and it is. Make sure I pull it right to where I need it to start, which is going to be, just using the arrow keys on my keyboard here, right there. So right there is where I need it to start. Yes, you're seeing this sample tank piano, but you have to remember how that sequence is, is laid out, okay? So in that sequence, it's laid out just like this. There's nothing in this first part, and then it will cut to many grand. So this is exactly the position that I need it. Again, I've only selected let me actually just get all those off. I only need two and three and four. That's all I need, just two, three, and four. So watch this here. Let me pull this back so you can see it. So what we're going to be changing is this right here. You'll just see all of this change here and all of this change on here. So I'll just overwrite that in. Pow, look at that. Everything in there perfectly. Look at this. There, there's a grandeur, mini grand, grandeur, mini grand, grandeur on and on and on. Now there's a little bit I have to clean up right here because I did edit uh, this mini grand slightly differently right here. So I can clean that up 
and change it if I want. But that's the only area that I change between those two sequences. Everything else is lined up, audio is lined up, and I still have all of my effects from both of these sequences that we loaded in here and pulled into this sequence. All of the effects are already rendered and everything, so I don't have to re-render effects. I don't have to redo hardly anything. I just have to clean some things up. Uh, of course, I need to go in here. I have to change my ending right here because we have two different pictures here. Then we'll probably have, yeah, right here is correct. We have the grandeur right there, but right here we're going to need our mini grand image. And I already have all of those effects saved. I already have the pictures ready. So let me go ahead and cut this in just so you can see this, just so you can see how, how time saving cutting a sequence into a sequence is, whether like we did in the last video where we cut in whole sequences or we went in and we did, you know, like ins and outs and cut in parts of sequences and just cut in the, the entire sequence, all of the tracks or this way where we are cutting in uh, just certain tracks of a sequence. Very powerful, very, very time saving as you can see. So let me head over to my images bin. Uh, we'll wrap this up here. Here's my images bin. So we already have the grandeur in there. Perfect. Now I need mini grand over here. So here's my mini grand image. And as I showed in a previous video, we're just going to use replace edit. Let's make sure I have that track selected. I have it uh, highlighted there, locked to that clip. Here's my mini grand right here. Replace edit. Just replaced just that part. And I already have, let me go to my mini grand bin here. And I have my mini grand end right pop that in there we go end or open it's it's the same thing so there we go let me monitor the top track here and there it is set up perfectly and ready to go i mean it was it's just that easy of course i have to go in and make sure everything is is fine i have to go to our audio mixer and uh i have to add a limiter and i have to make sure all the audio levels are as close to exact as uh as possible let me head on down here and we'll do the same thing to this clip here, this lock there. I already have Mini Grand loaded up in our source monitor, so I'll just replace, edit that in. Come back to, and I need this effect. Pop it on there. There it is. Very good. Now I'm, I'm, you know, pretty much done. Of course, I have to check everything, but, and I have to render everything out. I just like to render everything out, so I'll go ahead and render this here. Go ahead and render that. Okay, cool. Let me remove those marks and... Very cool. I forgot I had to uh, replace this image down here on this one. No big deal. I can always head back to my images bin, uh, find my grandeur there. And we'll just pop that in right here. Make sure I just have that track selected. Grab it here, pop that in. And then I will add my effect on it. I guess that one. There we go. Actually, that one's not the right one. Maybe it's this one here. That's the right one. That's the one I wanted. There we go. So now I'll just render that again, and it will be perfect. We're not going to render it here, but there you go, man. That is the power of editing just parts of a sequence into another sequence here. Of course, like I said, I have to clean some things up. And it's not, of course, it's not always this easy. And as we mentioned in the last video, you can use this sequence into a sequence workflow as sort of a, a sort of like a template, uh, you know, where I could go in and then cut another video to it because I don't have every video cut. So of course I still have to cut some things manually here. Working great here. Awesome, very, very cool stuff. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up this edit here, get it 100% perfect, but that is the power of editing sequences into other sequences. Just remember that if you only want a part of another sequence, first of course, grab it and throw it up into your source monitor there. And as we showed the last time, you can do an in and an out and just edit in a certain part of a sequence. And again, let me actually remove those marks. And just remember, that if you only want a certain part of that sequence, meaning certain tracks of the sequence, you can always double click to load that sequence up. So you are aware of, you know, where everything resides in, in that sequence, you know, and go through and make sure you're getting just the track you want, monitor it and whatnot. Okay, so you know what you're getting. And then go back to your other sequence, throw that sequence into your source monitor there, head back over here and just tick the tracks that you want to cut in and cut it in. So there you go, man. The power of editing sequences into other sequences here in Avid Media Composer.